Oddity number four, the auto filtering drop down menu. With 2010, the auto filter feature has been improved and looks a lot like the auto filter in Excel. That's a good thing. But it has a couple of quirks, one of which is unlike in previous versions where the width of the auto filter display matched the column width, in this new version 2010, the auto filter doesn't always match the width of the column you are filtering. But fortunately, if you need to widen the drop down display, because you want to see more of the selection, there's a trick. Let me show you the trick by bringing up MS Project. So here I want to filter on task names. So I'm going to pull the screen up. And I'm going to click. And now you can see, I'm going to click the filter button. And now you can see the new filter, auto filter options. They're very good. But I can't see all of the entries. And you may find it very frustrating. And you may find yourself scrolling. But you don't have to do this. So a little control in the bottom right hand corner. Unfortunately, it's below the OK and cancel button, but I can understand why. And you can grab it and make it as wide as you need. And now, as you go through your list, you can make your selections as needed. That's a nice feature. Now, the only trouble is, every time you go back into it, you got to drag and widen it again. Minor inconvenience, but I wished it would have remembered where it was the last time I used it, but it doesn't. All right, we're getting close to the finish. We're on to number three in the top 10 list countdown.